Dr. Jonathan Shanzer is the Vice President of Research at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. He is also a former terrorism finance analyst at the U.S. Department of Treasury. Welcome, Dr. Shanzer. Thank you. The Director of National Intelligence says Iran is willing to attack America on our own soil. How real of a threat is Iran? Well, I think it's quite real. Uh, you have to remember that uh, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, the IRGC, is a designated terrorist organization uh, designated here uh, by the government of the United States for a terror network that it has cultivated worldwide. We know that it has, for example, spawned uh, Hezbollah. It has spawned some of the terror cells that have attacked Latin America, Argentina during the 1990s. Uh, and so, and, and obviously we know that the IRGC was behind the recent attempt on the life of the, uh, the Saudi ambassador. So we know that this is a very far-reaching terror network. And what you heard James Clapper say, the director of national intelligence, is that if, if this is consistent across the board, then we should expect uh, those sorts of uh, networks and attacks to potentially come home to roost here in the United States, which is obviously of great concern. The U.N. Secretary General says he's waiting for Iran to prove its nuclear program is peaceful. Is that possible that that's true? Well, I, I think that's giving uh, Iran uh, the benefit of the doubt, to say the least. I mean, I, I think the Iranians have made it very clear that this is an illicit nuclear program, that they are uh, doing everything they can to, to uh, cultivate a nuclear weapon. And they've even said that they'd like to test it on Israel and they want to wipe Israel off the map. So, I mean, what, what the Iranians are doing is they're trying to gain leverage through this nuclear weapon uh, to give them cover, to give them an umbrella to be able to continue, out, to continue the kinds of terrorist attacks that we just discussed. So. I don't have I don't place a lot of stock in the idea that Iran could come clean on this program. Well, it's no secret that Israel and the Obama administration have been at odds over Iran. Is Washington doing enough to support Israel? Well, you know, it's hard to say what's going on behind the scenes. I mean, to a certain extent, we can say that the United States has provided Israel with the uh, with the ordinance, the kinds of bombs necessary to, to help neutralize uh, the Iranian bomb, if if it comes to that. Uh, but at the same time, we've heard about tensions about uh, you know uh, some of the operations that have taken place inside Iran, uh, and in, you know, and the administration continues to hold Israel's feet to the fire about negotiations with the Palestinians. When, when you know, quite frankly, the the Palestinians Palestinians are not the threat that the Israelis are looking at. They're only concerned about the threat of a nuclear Iran and doing everything they can on that front uh, to forestall uh, a showdown with the uh, clerical regime in Tehran. All right. Dr. Jonathan Shanzer, once again, the vice president of research at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. Thanks for your time, sir. Thank you.